League returns this week with a bit of an extended match day. And of course, who's going to kick off 2022 with a Burby Dazzling win? We'll take a little look next. Production video today. We're looking forward to match day. What is it? Number 22 over in the Premier League. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and keep hanging All things Premier League related, Premier League related, world football league. We're all here, boys. Under one Ruski, of course. Yes, it's been a while. I've been away, of course. Bit of a bit of a bit of an issue at the back end of last year. And of course, into 2022, which of course put this channel to a bit of a halt. And we'll elaborate on that in a minute, of course. I want a big, big shout out to my VRPs behind the scenes, the other Patreons, and a big, big shout out to Dita Max. Maximilian Schmidt Gonzalez for a couple of going the latest member of the Patreon gang. Big, big shout out to you, sir. He went down there and, of course, went to the channel down there, patreon.com forward slash overseas to become the latest member of the Merry Merry Men. So let's elaborate on that. If you haven't checked out the I'm Back videos or the Blackburn Overseas videos, make sure you do so uh, because I'm on the lookout for, 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 for budding volunteers who are trying to get involved with content creation videos and stuff like that, but I don't know what to do. But, of course, looking to, to a platform to, to basically basically boost their channel but i'll get get in amongst it um so if you if that suits you make sure you check out those videos also just um drop a comment down below or best still follow me on twitter and dm me directly anyway let's talk a little bit about what you've missed now of course we, these aren't the last games i don't believe anyway in the premier league but these were the last games that we covered of course which were the boxing day fixtures some of them took place some of them didn't play place but of course if the what the, the games that we have already taken place that we didn't cover it's because of our, my uh, uh, the, the road accent that we had which of course put a, a kibosh to stuff it all makes sense if you follow the videos anyway so uh Aston Villa did uh beat uh sorry I did lose to Chelsea of course I went with the draw myself uh Brian picked up a two winner two win over Brentford of course as well Burnley everything was postponed as was Liverpool Leeds uh City though put six past Leicester City in a nine goal thriller there uh Newcastle and United drew 1-1 of course Norwich got battered by Arsenal Spurs and Crystal Pass was a three nil win for Spurs West Ham uh did lose to Southampton 3-2 according to my eyes there and of course there's a postponement there in the battle of the W's uh so this is the table as it is right now with of course all the fixtures bang up to date that's of course the Premier League of course heading into match number 22 of course with extended match day a couple of games midweek of course the full week uh, hopefully a full weekend of action uh, next weekend so that's the state of play there as you can see City are running away with it 10 points clear now over Chelsea uh, and of course the title race looks a bit of a, a shitty one now and uh, now what we're really looking forward is Arsenal look at them into fourth spot they're playing for Champions League May United of course uh, free fall nobody like it. it's just all gone tits up over there uh, and down the foot of the table, Norwich in trouble, big spunning, big money, New uh, Newcastle, uh, of course, and Burnley, hopefully, will all go down, that's what I'd like to see, uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the leaderboard, now, this is a new leaderboard, of course, we've got the master leaderboard, uh, which I'll elaborate on in a minute, but this is the new leaderboard, because we've broken the halfway mark of the season, we're going to just basically start a new one, give the likes of uh, Rawlings Okeo, uh, we've got B Buxari in there, uh, who else we got, uh, uh, Daniel, Darren Emmanuel, new names for me, new names for you as well, but a good chance for them to get in amongst it of course the lead in the leaderboard for the second half of the season the master leaderboard will continue i will keep on adding it behind the scenes and i'll show it to you once a month of course but if you are a patron just like shepherd just like uh russell frost just like Ultra Omer Mura, just like who else do we have down there? Uh, Bianca Muller as well, Jimmy Watton as well. Uh, they can get access to that whenever they like. They can, if they want on a toilet, they can go, let me have a look at that leaderboard. I want to make sure. And then they can go, oh yes, I'm going to catch up with so and so or whatever. So, you know. They'll have access to that. And if you want to become a nice member of the Patreon, you will also get access to for that as well. From a little to as much as you like. Check it all out. Uh, but until then, dudes, we're going to roll on. Uh, again, just give me a couple of days to get that fired up. Uh, meanwhile, of course, since we've begun, we're going to roll into a new month here of January, of course. Who won the predictive of the month for December? Well, let's, uh, let's have a little look. Now, the predictive of the month is the person, all the persons who got accumulated the most points in the month of December. Uh, of course, you can win multiple months and there can be multiple winners. At the end of the season, one of those multiple winners uh, from the list that will be revealed later shortly uh, will win uh, a gift card it looks like it doesn't look like it'll be a t-shirt because it's going to be in a nightmare so far uh, it'll be selected at random so what I'm trying to say here of course there is the master prize winner which will also get a prize but also you can win an individual prize uh, for the prediction of the month and a uh, Judy and Champ do 17 picked it up for December so well done to you guys you are the predictors of the month you join this list of many many men of course anyone got double bills yet anyone got double 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 vision 
I can't see it. I don't think so. So it is wide open, of course, in the Premier League. So get in amongst it as we look forward to the month of January. That is the link here, Cutting Forge Premier League. Uh, so please check it all out. Again, patrons get access to more data. Make sure you check that out as well. This is the list of fixtures coming at you this week, starting, of course, from Tuesday. That's why I'm getting these predictions in early. Uh, so let's kick it on forward then. Take a look at Southampton up against Brentford, of course, over at St. Mary's. Uh, played to the nine times, 2005. Three wins to Southampton, two for Brentford and four draws. Just one win in six though for Southampton. One defeat also the last six as well. Uh, meanwhile, Brentford coming to this. What are we looking at here? Uh, they come into this uh, just one win in four for them. 42% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time out over at St. Mary's uh, was uh, back in September 2020. It was a 2-0 win for Brentford in the EFL Cup. Last time they played though in the league was in League One back in uh, December 2010 and it was a Brentford win as well. So Brentford like playing uh, Southampton. However, the home side hasn't won this game ever. Uh, the last, uh, I don't know, handful of games. Well, they played. They played nine games in 2005. No, the, the home side has never won this game. Uh, Southampton picking up a draw against Spurs. That's around Brentford picking up two one win over Aston Villa. Look at the odds here. 2019 on is Southampton. They are your favourites. 5 2 is draw and 3 9 10 is your away win. That's Brentford here on this one. Going to go with a 1 0 win for the Saints on there. Could they keep on marching in? They bloody well hope so. Everton will take on Leicester City. Also, this coming midweek. Played each other 33 times since uh, 1994. 10 wins for Everton, to, uh, 9 wins for Leicester, and 14 draws. Just 1 win and 6 though for Everton in the moment. Uh, of course, up against the Leicester side, uh, two wins for six, 33% form. Both sides in really shitty kind of form. Uh, last time out at Goodison Park was a 1-1 draw back in January 2021. Of course, this time last season, it was a 1-1 draw. Uh, Everton, though, unbeaten against uh, Leicester the last three occasions, uh, picking up a couple of wins and a draw to boot. Meanwhile, Everton did lose to Brighton last time out, 3-2 loss there. Leicester picked up a 1-0 win over Le uh, Liverpool as well. Look at the odds on this one. Again, this doesn't include FA Cup action. Recording on FA Cup weekend as well. So Everton picking up uh, their odds are 29-20 to 20 for the Richie 70 10 is your Leicester and 5 2 is your draw. Smells like a draw for F1 Monster Review. I'm going to go with the 1 1 right down the middle on this one. On to Wednesday, January the 12th, it'll be the Hammers up against Norwich City who are in trouble. Of course, they've already pulled the plug on one manager, Dean Smith. Looks like he's in batshit crazy trouble. Four to five defeats on the spin for them right now. Of course, a play to the 18 times in 93. Of course, eight wins for West Ham, two wins for Norwich, and eight draws. Back to back wins though for the Hammers at the moment. 42% uh, form up against the Norwich side. Just uh, a draw. The last six is the best they could do. Uh, of course, last time around over at uh, the London Stadium was a Two new win for West Ham. That's back in August 2019. Uh, West Ham picking up back-to-back uh, -back wins, back-to-back -back clean sheets as well over Norwich. Uh, West Ham picking up a 3-2 win over Crystal Palace last time around. Of course, Norwich also losing the past 3-0 last time around. Uh, look at the odds here. We have 4-1 uh, on is your Hammers. 5-1 is your draw. 12 one is your way win. That's Norwich. Ain't going to happen, is it? 3-1 uh, win for the Hammers on this one to take to the house. Then we have a small matter of the North London Derby. It's Spurs up against Arsenal. Conte up against uh, Arteta at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Played each other 66 times in 1993. 15 wins for Spurs. Six wins for Arsenal and 25 draws. Of course, Spurs uh, just one defeat past six, six, seven percent form. Up against the Arsenal side, just one defeat past six, 83 percent form as well. Last round over at uh, the Fancy Pants Stadium was a one near win for Spurs way back in August the 8th. 2021 was a friendly, doesn't really count. Last time, pretty sure they're in competitive action though. It was a two new win for Spurs back in December 2020. Uh, of course, the away side hasn't lost this game uh, since uh, Spurs beat Arsenal in the quarterfinal of the EFL Cup in 2018. Uh, Spurs picking up a loss against Chelsea last time round. Of course, Arsenal losing the City last time around. Look at the odds here. 64 is your host, 9 to 5 is your way win, and 22 10 is your could go either way. This one, I think I'm calling a draw. That's right, nil nil. No one wants to lose this game, and I think Arsenal will be happy with that one. Liverpool. And they're going to be taking on Brentford as well over at Anfield. Now, these two sides have played each other just the one time since 21, and it's been a draw. Of course, Liverpool coming into this, just one defeat past six for them. Six times in form up against Brentford side, just one win in four for them. Double match week as well. They'll lose to Southampton as well earlier. That one uh, match earlier was a 3 3 draw. That's back in Brentford. That was, uh, of course, in September. Uh, Liverpool, they'll pick up a 2 2 draw against Chelsea. Of course, Brentford picked up a 2 1 win over Villa last time around. Of course, they got the Southampton game to bear in mind as well. Look at the odds here. We have 3 1 on it. Liverpool, of course, 92 ish draw, 52 ish Brentford, of course. Uh, ain't going to happen, is it? Of course, Liverpool should win this one 3 new win uh, to at least put a bit of pressure on Manchester City Brighton take on Crystal Palace in a bit of a zinger zinger this is, this is a bit of a derby isn't it M23 derby something like that M3 derby whatever it is play each other the corner of my eyes just the one time that's wrong when well, I'm looking at the play each other the whole bunch that's what they have they play each other the corner of my eyes around about uh, 20 times to do them do 5 wins for Brighton 8 wins for Crystal Palace and 7 draws just one defeat about 6 though for Brighton of course Potter's boys doing absolutely fantastic up against the uh, Vieira's boys uh, just uh, 1 win in 4 though 42 percent form for them at the moment of course last around over in Brighton was a 2-1 win for Palace. That was back in February 2021. Palace, though, picking up a 3-2 win over Everton. Uh, of course, uh, Palace, though, losing to uh, West Ham 3-2 as well. Uh, and a lot of golf fest between uh, these two sides over the past few games. 1-1. Uh, uh, even Stephen, sorry, is your Brighton, of course. On this one, 23-10 is your draw. 3-1 is your way win. That's, of course, bullshit.
Uh, next up, of course, we have Manchester City taking on uh, Chelsea. That's right. Uh, of course, now these two. So next, of course, we have Manchester City taking on Chelsea. That's right. Now these two sides up a bit of a zinger zinger right here. Played each other 57 times in 1993. 21 wins for City, 29 wins for Chelsea, and seven draws. City, they're winning nine on the uh, six on the bounce, of course. Uh, 100% form. I guess that Chelsea side unbeaten in the last six games. However, pick up three three wins and three draws. Last around, of course, at the Etihad um, was a 2-1 win for Chelsea. It was in the Premier League back in May 2021. Um... Of course, they played each other in the Champions League final, which Chelsea won 1 0, of course, last season. Uh, but of course, uh, Chelsea did lose to City in the Premier League on the reverse fixture back in September. City, though, coming into the number four, one over Swindon in the FA Cup. They also beat Arsenal in the Premier League last time around. Meanwhile, Chelsea became a 2 1 win over Spurs last time around. Look at the odds on this one, then, shall we? 20 to, 20 to 13 on is your City. The Red Hot favourites, 4 to 1 is your way. And that's, of course, Chelsea at 3 to 1 is your draw. I'm going to go with City to win this one. 3 2 win, goals galore. And of course, probably another title in the bag already for Pep on this one. Brighton up against. Uh, Crystal Palace and a bit of a, uh, a, a south southfish kind of derby, the M23 derby. Played each other 20 times since 2002. Five wins for Brighton, eight wins for Palace, and we've got seven draws. Of course, Brighton coming to this just one defeat past six. As Potter's boys are doing fantastic right now, 58% form. Up against the Crystal Palace side, and uh, of course, Patrick Vieira just one win of the past four, 42% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time out over in Brighton was a 2 1 win for Palace. That was back in February 2021. Uh, of course, Brighton did beat Everton 3 2 last time around. Of course, uh, Palace are losing 3 2 to uh, West Ham last time around. Look at the odds here. We have Brighton, even Stevens for the victory. 23 to 10 is your draw, and 3 to 1 is your away win. That's Palace on this. Uh, one they went for Brighton. They look good right now. Of course, they're uh, kicking ass and taking names. Norwich City up against Everton. Let's get into this one at Carrow Road. Uh, that's right. Played each other 21 times in 93. Five wins to Norwich, 10 wins to Everton, and we've got six draws. Of course, uh, Norwich in a bit of trouble. Of course, they will uh, play West Ham this week, and they'll lose as well. Uh, of course, um, that's the picture that at Carrow Road. At get, uh, uh, of course, Norwich lost 1 0. Of course, Everton picking up a back to back wins over. Over uh, Norwich, back-to-back -back clean sheets as well. Uh, meanwhile, Norwich did lose to Palace at the last round back on uh, December the 28th. Of course, losing as well here. Uh, meanwhile, Everton losing to Brighton as well. Back-to-back -back ability they are looking for on this one. 11-4 is your host. That's, of course, Norwich. Uh, even Stevens is your Everton. Of course, 5-2 is your draw. I think this will be a win for Norwich on this one. They need to get a win. Dean Smith needs to put a bit, of, uh, get a bit of magic going. Uh, and, and, and Everton aren't been playing great at the moment either. So I just think... A chance here for Norwich. Ain't gonna be pretty, maybe a pooky penalty, but that's pretty much just about it. West Ham, uh, they're gonna be taking on, uh, of course, Leeds United. That's of course into Sunday, uh, January the sixteenth. Now these two sides have played each other. Corner my eyes, uh, twenty-seven times in nine and three. Five wins for West Ham, fifteen wins for Leeds. I've got seven draws, of course. Back-to-back -back wins for the Hammers on this one. Forty-two percent form against the Leeds side. Just one win in five for them. Forty-two percent form as well. Last round, of course, over at at, uh, at uh, the London Stadium was a two what a two-nil win for West Ham back in March twenty twenty-one. West Ham picked up three wins in the bounce against Leeds. Over the course of the last three matches. Uh, West Ham pick up a 3-2 win over Palace. Uh, Leeds pick up a 3-1 win over Burnley. That's around. Thank you for that. Uh, of course, 20 to 13 on is your West Ham. Of course, 4 to 1 is your way when that's Leeds and 3 to 1 is your draw. The Hammers will win this one, though, unfortunately. Leeds are in. Uh, they're grinding out some results, but unfortunately, they can't. They won't be able to win this one. Uh, Burnley, of course, six figure figures. <laughs> Uh, up against Leicester, that's right. Of course, locking horns over a third more. Played each 31 times to two nine wins to Burnley, 13 wins to Leicester, and nine draws. Burnley without a win in at least six games. Uh, three defeats past four for them. And Leicester City coming to two wins in the past four games. They'll pick up a draw against Everton as well midweek. Last round over at Turmoor was a 1 1 draw back in March 2021. Um, the Wayside hasn't won this game since Leicester beat Burnley way back in 2019. Uh, Burnley did lose to Leeds. Last time out, Leicester pick up a 1 0 win over Liverpool. Last time out. Look at the odds here. We have 21 to 10 this year. Of course, you're Burnley, 5 4 is your away win and 25 is your draw. Uh, backing the Leicester on this one, of course, I am 2 to win for them over the freaks down the road. Aston Villa taking on Manchester United again. Of course, they're locking horns in the old FA Cup. They'll lock horns again at Villa Park this time around. Played each other 56 times in 93. Maybe Coutinho will make his debut on here. Uh, four wins for Villa, 41 wins for United, and 11 draws. Uh, just one win and four for Aston Villa at the moment. Again, not including the FA Cup action up against the United side, who have just lost once in the past six. Uh, six times four, but no one's backing Ragnik. Of course, it's all met. It's all uh, bedlam at the moment. Uh, last Last round at Villa Park was a 3-1 win for United. That was, of course, back in May 2021. Of course, Villa beat uh, uh, Manchester United this season back in September. So they're looking for the double over United. Of course, uh, yeah, Villa did lose to Brentford last round. Of course, United lost to Wolves last round. Look at the odds here. Uh, we have Aston Villa 12-5 for the victory. Of course, 20 to 20 is your United and 11-4 is your draw. Can run yet? Get on a cup run? Think so. 2-1 win for them to, of course, get through to the next round. Coutinho, unfortunately, will uh, not influence it too much. <laughs> 
Wolves uh, will lock horns up against uh, Southampton, of course, coming at you this uh, this match day. Played each other 20 times since 2003, seven wins apiece and six draws. Wolves unbeaten the last three, of course, picking up two wins and a draw up against the Southampton side, just one to beat the past six. And of course, they'll pick up a win against Brentford as well. So looking good at the moment, maybe turning the coil, the turning in the corner a little bit Southampton. Uh, last time around, of course, over at Molyneux was a 2-0 win for Southampton. It was in the FA Cup last season. Of course, last time in the league was a 1-1 draw as well. Uh, meanwhile, Wolves coming into on the back of a 1-0 win over uh, United. And in fact, they've got uh, three clean sheets on the bounce. Uh, has Wolves. They've been very, very good defensively. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Southampton picking up a draw against uh, uh, Spurs here. Of course, picking up a win against Brentford later on uh, or earlier in, the, in, in this match day. 11-10 uh, is your host here. Of course, Wolves on this one. 30-5 is your uh, way win. And 23-10 is your draw. Tight one, this one. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw myself. Maybe a 0-0 zero, zero draw uh, on this one. And then finally, of course, money back to Newcastle up against uh, Watford over at St. James's Park on Saturday, January the 15th. Now, these two sides played 18 times in the past. This is 9 Anyway, of course, six wins for the Geordies, seven wins for the Hornets, and five draws. Of course, just one win and six for Newcastle at the moment. 33% form. I'm against the Watford side. 0% form. They're in trouble. Uh, of course, they need a win, and they need a win now. Last round at St. James's Park was a 1 1 draw. Uh, Watford, though, unbeaten against Newcastle on the last five occasions, including matches in the pre uh, in the FA Cup. Uh, of course, Newcastle picking up a draw against United. Last round, of course, back on the 27th of December. Watford picking up a 1 0 loss against Spurs. And that was a last minute dot com loss as well. Odds here, even Stevens as you, Newcastle 52 is your way. That's all, of course, Watford and 11 4 is your draw. I'm going to back the Newcastle project here to win uh, to put keep uh, Watford in trouble and of course uh, a big boost for Newcastle to get out of the drop zone. That is it my friends. Be sure to get involved with the channel. Of course Prediction League is here. Cut before Trash Premier League. It is free to enter. Get in amongst it and of course get your name in likes. Now again if you want to get involved with the channel in another way as a Premier League expert, as a Championship expert or uh, any other expert that you think you you know you know your stuff or you can you can talk your talk to talk to talk get involved. Let me know down below. Better still, go over to Twitter, follow me there, and DM me directly. We can have a little, start a little chat together, maybe have a little uh, uh, Zoom or Skype or whatever, and have a little talk about the plans and stuff that I've got in place. Because I'm looking out for, for, for new content creators, basically trying to create my own Avengers here on the channel for next year. Uh, of course, trying to maybe introduce any new budding content creators as cameos for the rest of the season, and then maybe something more long-term for you guys next season in a big, big year, of course, the World Cup year next season. So make sure, you if you are interested let me know down below also hop over the twitter follow me there dm me and of course if, if you want a little bit more on that check out the videos i'm back and of course blackburn overseas needs you they're on the channel it'll explain why i'm on the lookout for these avengers and of course why i'm trying to uh, get some uh, some backing to the to the to the to the channel basically the channel came to a crashing halt we missed a shitload of games. I couldn't. I, if I'm not there, the channel comes to a halt, and I don't want that. I want the, kit, the channel to keep alive, even if I'm in hospital or, or some shit goes down, or, or you know, there's there's, there's 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 work, other shit gets involved. I need I need budding volunteers. Anyway, let me know. Until then, do smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check the links down below. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Patreon as well if you want to support, support the channel in another way. Until then, dudes, we're Donny Dunzo. I'll see you soon for the next. Until then, dudes, we're out of it.